Welcome in, everybody. It's Scott Peepee with the Business on Purpose podcast, the platform, Facebook Live, YouTube. We're all over on those separate channels. So make sure you connect with us, LinkedIn, YouTube, and you can like us on Facebook at My Business on Purpose. Hey, at the time of this recording, important announcement here. If you go to bit.ly forward slash biz owner huddle at 12 p.m. Eastern today, 9 a.m. Pacific, we've got our next business owner huddle. For those of you listening on our podcast, obviously you'll be listening to this after this time, uh, but we're in the middle of this COVID-19 crisis and also a market decline. And so we're making sure that we're keeping all of our heroic business owners up to speed. So today, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, bit.ly forward slash biz owner huddle. We're going to walk you through and uh, lay out step by step everything that you need to be aware of from an accounting perspective, a macro perspective, um, and also a tax and banking perspective. So just stick with us for that. Hey, since I can remember, and I don't know if you're this way too, but since I can remember, we, uh, I always thought that Thomas Edison was the inventor of the light bulb. And so this weekend I was reading a book uh, by Richard Friday that actually Mark Orlando, our town manager, had recommended to me called The Great Reset and found out Edison, in fact, did not invent the light bulb. Uh, in the early 1800s, Sir Humphrey Davy began inventing a variety of safety lamps for coal miners and presented them to the Royal Society in return for all of these accolades. And then on into the mid-1800s, lamp technology began to be encased in a glass bulb uh, by some other adventurous uh, English inventors. And so it wasn't until the latter half of the 1800s that Edison would form the Edison Light Company and begin commercially perfecting and lighting up an entire city. So look at this, 1893 Chicago World, World Fair. Imagine going from no commercially available light to this, where you've just got light all over the place around the World's Fair. Just absolutely amazing. So although Edison did not invent the light bulb, He and his team at Menlo Park and his research facilities perfected the light bulb and even more importantly, created a system for mass delivery, which would go on to revolutionize an entire planet and its ensuing economic revolutions. Last night, a massive storm where we live rolled into our town and the dog woke us up. She was freaked out. The power went out while we were awake. And after reading that about Edison this weekend, it reminded me how grateful I was for the systematic delivery of power and light, even in moments where it might glitch or go out. Fortunately, ours came on just a couple of minutes later, but it really made me grateful for this. So when you think about one light bulb, one light bulb can be transforming, but building a system to light a thousand light bulbs, that becomes exponential. When you build a product, you impact one person, and that very well may be good enough. When you build a system, you impact tens or hundreds or thousands or millions of people. When you build a product, you feel satisfied, and you should. When you build a system for that product, you satisfy tens or hundreds or thousands or even millions of people. Sometimes building a system, though, is unnecessary. For example, systematizing conversations with my wife and the privacy of our own walks down the street would be you know, invasive and harmful. We don't want to do that. Or systematizing, like we've done recently, building a puzzle around our dinner table together as a family during a pandemic quarantine. That, that would position us to miss the point of that private moment. So there's some things in life you don't want to systematize. But then there are some times that building a system is entirely necessary. Sometimes building a system is entirely compassionate and thoughtful. For instance, I'm glad our healthcare workers operate within a system of healthcare to help impact human life. We're in the midst of that 2020 COVID-19 pandemic and a significant economic decline all merged together. And so business owners are going to need a system for building a business that will be able to withstand this type of storm in the future. I was looking the other day just to kind of see the numbers. Just in the United States, there are reported to be over 30 million small businesses just in the U.S. Think about the hundreds of millions of small businesses around the world. And there's even more business owners in the U.S. because of things like partnerships. You can't impact, you cannot impact hundreds or thousands of business owners with one person delivering one product door to door. You might be able to impact ones and fives and tens, but not upper tens and hundreds and thousands. Unfortunately, when we go door to door and try to impact one or two lives, there's not enough time to combat the speed of chaos that's crippling everybody. So what you've got to do 
is you've got to build a system. So for instance, for us, we've built the business on purpose roadmap system. And so now we rely on a growing and compassionate system to light up an entire town and cities around the world. So far, we've been able to serve people in about 40 countries, all because there's a system to deliver that. So here's my question for you. What's that product that you've built that goes one to one or one to two or one to five or one to 10, but you need a system to be able to deliver that to more people, regardless of your inventive authorship of that product. The more important product is the system to deliver that product. But of course, only if it aligns with your mission. So when you think about this idea of a product, I really want you to scratch it out and think about the idea of a system and what that would look like. Hey, to get you started, we're here to help you. We've got our entire vision story uh, tutorial and template online for you at mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash vision. So if you go to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash vision, you can see that there. And if you'll spend 20 minutes watching the tutorial in about 30 to 45 minutes, uh, that's we'll put our sweat equity in the game for building it for you. And then you can put your sweat equity of time in the game to actually build out your vision. Hey, one quick reminder for those of you listening in real time on our Facebook Live uh, and also... Um, well, I guess that would be it right now. But if you're listening in the future on YouTube or, or um, our podcast, you can delete this message, this part of the message. But today at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, make sure to join us on our powerful, powerful business owner huddle calls. If you'll just go to bit.ly forward slash biz owner huddle. We'll be right there at 12 noon Eastern time today, 9 a.m. Pacific, to help you walk through the macro things of the federal uh, response to the COVID-19 crisis, especially for small business owners. Also tax and accounting, and of course, the latest in the banking structures with the PPP and EIDL loans uh, that are out there with our bankers to be able to help you walk through that and think through every one of those elements. Hey, it's our delight to be able to serve you always. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you connect with us uh, on LinkedIn. You can connect with us on YouTube, and you can also like us on Facebook at My Business on Purpose. We're trying to figure out TikTok. I actually watched a video on that last night, so we may see if we can figure that out. Uh, For the rest of you, we'll see you today, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific at bit.ly forward slash biz owner huddle. Have a great Monday, everybody.